welcome to Tamara's Lunchbox, Wednesday edition. I thought I said Tuesday. My days are messed up. Wednesday edition. Um, how are you doing? How is your day? As you can see, I'm a little flustered. It's been, it's been a morning. That's all I'm going to say. It's been a morning. This will make it better in a little bit. That in focus. And um, I have the same things I had yesterday because Brian forgot his lunch yesterday. So I said, you know what? I, we will have Chick-fil-A tonight. So that's what I had for supper. And I'll just take your other lunch because I made him two plates. So I just said, I'll just take yours. So I don't have a side. I just have chicken and my potatoes. I need my okra, but he doesn't eat okra. I don't think many people do, but that's okay. And, of course, I have some quesos. So, and I'm starving. Um, made it to the gym again this morning. Um, did back and buys. Getting them, um, getting them guns going. Oh, <gasps> Make sure you get some tickets, okay? You don't want to come to the gun show. <laughs> There's these two sisters at the gym, and they said, look at you. I, got, I said, I know, I'm back a fourth day in a row like that. And uh, I said, you go, girl. Like that. And I said, this is my year. This is my year. <laughs> they just laughed. I mean, it, I, it, it's seriously a huge joke there because I'm not consistent. <clears throat> but it's okay. I strive to do better. But yeah, I'm back. I'm just so hungry today. Those are so good. And I plan on cooking tonight. Well, of course, I'll make chicken again. And probably some more roasted potatoes. I like them things. I'm sorry. I hope y'all don't get tired of seeing me eat it. Because I like them. They're good to me. They warm up good. And they just had the best flavor to them. So. So what are you having today? Mmm. That sounds really good. And. They. Uh, finally. Cashed our hot tub check. No, that's been what? One, two, three. Because we gave it to them on the 19th. So you had the rest of that week, all last week, and then today. So technically two weeks. If they hadn't have cashed it by the end of this week, I was going to call them and say, look. I wrote you a check, a substantial amount check. Hurry up and get that thing cashed. I don't want the money just sitting in the checking like that. That worries me. I don't like it. I don't mind it in savings. It don't bother me one bit. But when it's sitting in the checking account, I don't like it sitting there like that. Because I feel like with the checking account, it's linked to the debit card. It. I just feel like there's too, too much fraudulent stuff that could happen. The savings, nothing's tied to it. They don't, we don't have cards. We don't have checks. Nothing is linked to those accounts except for the checking. I mean, it's linked to the bank. But nobody has those account numbers. I mean, we've got this account number linked to, like, some um, 
payments that we do, there's all kind. And I was like, no, I, I don't, I don't like it sitting in there. I will, I move it over from savings and put it in checking long enough to, you know, so nothing bounces and all that kind of stuff. I get it in there and it's fine, but it kept sitting there and it kept sitting there and it kept sitting there. And I was like, so I told Brian, I said, they got to the end of the week. And I'm calling them at the end of the week saying, look, you got to hurry up and cash that check or I'm going to go spend it on something else that will take it. <laughs> Y'all, it had me so worried because I'd actually wrote it out of a new checkbook. And I don't write many checks, so it takes me a while to go through checkbooks, right? It had me thinking I had the wrong account number on the checks because why would they wait? That was my, th I could not grasp, why are you waiting to cash this check? Go on and do it. Don't you want it on your final year end stuff? <laughs> on your books? But, maybe that's not when their year end is. I don't know. Anyway, they finally cashed it. So now, I can officially say it's mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hours. <laughs> it's not Tamara's hot tub. <laughs> it's hours. But anyway. We didn't get in it last night, it was raining, so. So we missed last night. But that's okay. Well, I think it's supposed to rain the rest of the day too, so. May not be able to get in it tonight. I just did not like <clears throat> like that money sitting there like that. But did I had the, the checkbook pulled out and I was like, do I have the right route number? Do I have the right account number? I mean, it's the same checks that I ordered, but it was a new book. Brian's like, I'm sure it's fine. He said, if they went to cash that check and it went, it did not go through, he said, we would have got a phone call. I was like, I know, but it still shouldn't take this long. So this morning we got a notification about 8 o'clock, 8.14 is what it said actually. said checks cleared. I was like, well, hallelujah. But it did, and then when I did check the uh, checkbook, I said, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what the routing number starts with. Anyway, when I pulled it up on the website, actually the app on the phone, you know, at the bottom of your check, the route number's first and then your account number. Well, on our bank website, the account number is first and the route number second. So they were flip-flopped. First couple numbers I saw, I said, Brian, it's the wrong number. <laughs> and he was like, what? And then I said, it's the wrong numbers. Like, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, they're flipped. <laughs> I was in panic mode, y'all. I was like, I have done wrote this check. It ain't gonna go through. But I had it right, which I knew it had to be. I'd ordered those checks from there before. None of that had ever changed. But, mm. It had me worried. 
You know how mad I'd be. They come and take my hot tub away because there's a wrong number on my check. And then I told him this morning, because I was checking this morning, and I said, what if they put it in the wrong, what if somebody keyed it wrong? So what if it done went out of some other account and it ain't never going to come out of our account? <laughs> but it was okay. But I was wondering. I don't think I've ever had a check take so long. Ever. And so we kind of got used to <clears throat> the guy that did our cement. Like I said, we don't write checks that much anymore. I might write a check to the school every now and then. But even then, they went to a, a cash online account. So... I'm not even writing them a check much anymore. Well, then, then the um, cement company and the electrician, both checks immediately cashed that night, that night. So the very next morning I got on, or it, it actually sent me a thing, said check cleared. Had I not moved the money over before I uh, wrote those checks, I would have been in a mess. And then this one took, and I had that money moved over as soon as that check got done Monday. That money was in there. And it's been sitting there ever since. And I'm like, what is going on? Y'all got to hurry up and cash that check. <laughs> Boy, you know how mad I'd be? Somebody hack into my account and take my hot tub money. <laughs> all because it's sitting in that checking account. And here I spent all year saving up. Oh, Y'all, it would have been bad, bad. So anyway, but it's all good now. <laughs> all right, I am going to enjoy my Hershey before I have to open up my door because it's been very loud today. There's been a lot of people and it's just loud and it's quiet now. Well, my door shut, so that's why you can't hear it. So these last few minutes I have, I'm gonna enjoy my Hershey in peace, peace and quiet and enjoy it. So I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and I will see you back here tomorrow. May the peace of the Lord be with you until I see you again, and take care. And y'all have a great rest of your day. And if it's raining where you are, stay dry. Don't drown. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.